So this is a video about how to make a bobble. Obviously, just like in all of knitting, there are many ways to make bobbles. But I happen to like this particular method. It's easy and simple, and it makes a nice firm bobble, and it also makes a bobble that doesn't have a lot of holes around it. So uh, let me show you how to do it. You simply work into the point that you want to place the bobble. And when you get to that stitch, let's make it right here, you knit in the front of the stitch, you bring the yarn forward, take the needle to the back, knit in the back of the same stitch, give yourself a little leeway with the stitch, you knit in the front of that stitch, you knit in the back of that stitch, and one more time, you knit in the front of the stitch. You now have five stitches get this around where you can see it. You now have five stitches where there was one stitch. Turn your work and you purl those five stitches. Turn your work again and you knit those stitches. You're making a series of short rows on those five little stitches. So you turn it one more time to purl it. Five stitches. You're just building up a little flap, if you will. You turn it back for one final pass of knitting. Now, if you wanted your bobble to be a little smaller, you could cast, you could knit only four stitches. Instead of five, you could cut down on the number of short rows you do. But now do you see that you have this little flap that is separated there? You simply come into the fourth stitch with your left needle, bring that stitch over as if you were uh, binding off. You take the third stitch and bring it over as if you were binding off. You take the second stitch and bring it over as if you were binding off. And you take the first stitch and bring it over. You now are back to one stitch where you started. You can take your finger and kind of push that bobble forward. You go ahead and knit into the next stitch. And when you make that next stitch, tug on it just a little bit. Tug on that yarn, making it a little tighter. And voila, you have a beautiful closed and handsome bobble there. You can also do this with a contrasting yarn, if you like, by simply stranding that yarn along. So if you knit in the front, you knit in the back, you knit in the front, you knit in the back, and so forth. You make the bobble with that yarn. Go ahead across your work and just carry this yarn by picking up your working yarn under the old one and that will strand that yarn across the back of that work and you can have um, 